Hello YouTube, today I'm going to make you a quick guide on how to use um, SwiftKit. So what is SwiftKit? It's an uh, ARS toolkit. It's an all-in-one, so you've got a quest guide on this, you've got calculators, you've got um, ice cores, you've got uh, world map, you've got, um, you've got all kind of things. So um, I'm going to put a link in the description to download it. And uh, yeah, just going to launch it to show you what it's like. And it's not a scam guys, I've used it a lot. And uh, I can say for sure that it's uh, not a scam. So uh, once you've uh, downloaded it and you launch it, you'll have this little screen that will uh, open. So I've got my own profile already created, but you'll have to create one uh, new for you. So um, just create, uh, just uh, click on create new and uh, fill up all these things and you'll be okay so I'm just gonna log in with mine and I'll show you after so once you've uh, created your profile and that you've logged in this is what you'll see so this is the main menu um, so basically this toolkit is made for all uh, four servers of Ares. so um, you've got normal runescape you've got, uh, which is you see you've got Ares 2 beta you've got old school that's what I'm playing and classic and uh, so if you're in UC, just uncheck this because uh, it says old school tools. But if you're in old school, check it. And you've got here the ice cores. So um, this is my stats. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like um, when you play with the uh, SwiftKit. So um, to play um, RS, just go on the little play RS icon and uh, choose the one you want. I'm playing old school. So it's basically like if you were online, there's uh, no difference except that there's this little um, toolbar on the side. And uh, so yeah, while it's uh, loading, I'm going to show you um, what you can do with this little toolbar here. So yeah, you've got this here with the options. Oh well, it's already loaded. So um, just uh, I'm gonna log in. And uh, on some game, I'm going to show you what you can do with the toolbar in here and uh, some more things. So um, now I'm logged uh, in game, so I'm in my house right now. And um, so yeah, you can play uh, normally, as you can see. There's uh, no difference as uh, the website. So let's check. Let's uh, take a quick look at this toolbar right here. So as you can see, you've got the option, the options, which is um, if you want old school tools, how much time you've played since uh, you've logged in, and uh, if you don't want uh, to play RS, just do not misclick it. You've got um, also a calculator. So instead of popping the little calculator right there, you got this right there. So uh, I guess it works well. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, yeah. So. You got a calculator, then here you've got the word clock. Uh, honestly, guys, I've never known how it works, but uh, there, there's a YouTube video, but I don't know what is it. And uh, here you got the screenshot uh, thing. So instead of doing a print screen and like going on paint, this is uh, way faster. It's like you put it in a document instantly, and I'm going to show you how to use it in the next uh, next sequence. Oh, how is the screenshot thing working? Um, basically, to take a screenshot, you just click on menu, and now you've got a different option. You've got screenshot stats, which uh, will screenshot this. You've got chat, it will only screenshot this. You've got bank, it will screenshot pretty much this area. Or you can as well drag a screenshot if you want a screenshot like, I don't know, uh, just my character like this and I don't know if you heard the little uh, click but I put it in the document instantly and you just have to go and get it into your documents so that's really much much faster than just going on paint uh, you know uh, removing everything you don't have and only keeping the little piece you want so um, that's one of the reasons why I really really like um, SwiftKit then uh, let's check down here what we got so what do we got down here um so first thing here is the ice cores um so 
uh, you can pretty much check anybody so now I've got the old school tools um, checked so it's going to be the old school rice calls so let's type in my username so there are my my skills you can do this with anybody on your school that is ranked and now you can uncheck this and it's going to be on your seat and let's say you can uh, take for instance zoom and it's going to show you the skills the um, next one here is the database so well there's an example you've got clan to member items monsters and quest uh, so now as in quest i typed in uh, cook assistant you got it here and it says only two things uh beginner and short but uh, there's um, a quest guide but it's uh, in here it's like an little atom and um, you've got also like items you can, you can type in dragon claws um but basically database are um euc only uh, of course if you type in uh, something that's in 07 it's going to give you um some legit information but uh, you know like for instance the levels like uh, i don't know let's say um i think jelly let's say jellies are the are level 70 8 and you in 07 and you see it's going to say you 98 you know because you see it's now at uh, the total level so yeah but the uh, database and you see based but i think that you can get uh, pretty much what you want uh, pretty the, the uh, global information that you want for 07 also um so now the um two next years um honestly i never use them i don't know what they're used for I think uh, I think it's like uh, for instance uh, you've got um, a website that you go on to do your crew scrolls or your quests and uh, you don't want to always go on Chrome and type it like uh, you know you can I think you can just put the link in here and you you can click the link uh, uh, instantly so instead of always going in Chrome you can just open SwiftKit and click on the link and it's going open by itself and music in here I guess you can put on um, some of your iTunes tune or something like that to uh, to play without having uh, 1000 things uh, open at the same time so now let's take a quick look at the last thing that we've got in this toolkit which is the internal utilities so the last four um, for um, tools that you got uh, so these four right there um, well the first one is really simple it's basically just notepad so instead of opening another notepad, notepad you just got it here so you can like play and oh, okay I wanna take a note I wanna remember something uh, oops um, uh, now you can type what you want um, here honestly guys I really 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 don't know what is the used for um honestly once you've downloaded it uh, you could maybe check up and uh, even if you find what it's it's used you can pm me um uh, on Eris, my uh escape name is right there when usually or you can pm me on uh, youtube and tell me what it's used for because honestly i don't really know um the next one so on um, this last tool i really think is the most useful of all um so then facebook so um the remember, remember when i was talking to you about the screenshot right there well this is even faster here you got you know some drag screenshot so if you keep this i mean it doesn't take any space you just take empty space so if you keep it always open you can just do drag screenshot really fast take a screenshot and then do screenshot and i put it in my uh every pictures you just look for it it's class it's classified by the date and the time so this one and you got it right away um if you got a to-do list so basically uh, i think you see you have one if i remember well because i've stopped playing in 2010 so but i think we had one back in 2010 so i guess it's still there but there's no there's none in 07 so if you uh, like this you can uh you can uh, put some uh, to-do list so just uh, Escape. I'm at 10 quest stuff. Um, uh, I really want to get this quest escape. I'm. S it's start to be uh, long. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my quest escape. 
Um, so yeah, we got to do list and then we got the settings. I think they are all okay. Honestly, I've never changed anything in this, so uh, I guess they are good. The next uh, row, so calculators. So um, calculators, and you just have to open one and uh, the little open page of calculators, and you got the uh, five. Um, I'm I'm going to do this fast because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long. I think it's already 15 minutes for things that uh, are not that is full sometimes. So basically, you just select your skill where you type your XP, type the level you want, and it will say you how many time you've got to do this or that. It's the same thing for fighting, combat, you can check your combat level and it's not working for 07, it says AUC but these two I guess it's work for 07 Best control, like, don't do a lot of this so I don't really get it but I guess people, you guys that if you do a lot of best control you understand how it works and progress, it's uh, basically your level 1 and you didn't get to 45 It's gonna tell you how much XP you need and uh, when you created it uh, and all these informations so, so this um, next row, um, well, first of all, you got uh, a world map. So basically, just uh, it's a world map. Um, you've got a locator for the clue scrolls. Just put the degrees and minutes, the um, direction. You've got also a puzzle help here, so it shows you the, the final puzzle how it should be. If you got a Required for the clue scrolls. I don't know if this one work. I'm not using it. Uh, I let you check out. I'm using a treasure trail. I think it's on Tippet. I'm not sure. Um, if you can uh, search, uh, search uh, some place. So let's say um, Darak. It's going to uh, show you where it is. Where it is? It's an EUC map <laughs> again. But uh, for 07 players, uh, nothing has changed much. This has changed. I don't even think that this. Oh yeah, I think this changed a bit. But um, yeah, it's really uh, similar anyway. And you get user. I don't know what it is, but um, that's pretty much it. And uh, so technically, if you open the world map, you've got like these three things also. So uh, there, there, and uh, there. And uh, then you've got the dungeon maps. You got all kinds of dungeons, and you just click on the one you want, and it's going to, it's going to give you the uh, maps. So next row and last row. So finally, the last row. I I don't know what's the length of this video, but that's really long. Maybe I'll have to edit it a bit. Anyway, last row. You've got guides and skills. So it actually on. Well, I guess it might be uh, useful. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yes. It shows you like um, levels of experience, introductions, how to do this, tips, nah, nah. Okay, so, well, you've got the um, skills guide. Um, everything in, the, in this toolkit is pretty much what you see, but it works also for 07. So, uh, maybe sometime in uh, skills it's going to tell you. Uh, do this to get uh, from level 10 to 20 but it's an EUC thing and not to 7 so uh, be careful with that then you got a quest guide personally I'm using rune, rune HQ but I guess Tippet is good also um, got the mini games. I don't think I have anything to send this the task that there's only one I think in 07 I don't even know it, if, it, if it works I guess it is Yes, me, I'm Martin. Yes, I guess it works. And uh, finally, you've got the fairy ring codes. You've got uh, all the codes that exist and where they and where they lead to. And um, that's pretty much it for the last one. So I hope you like this video, guys. Um, sorry if I misspelled some words or times uh, sometimes like this. Or if I spoke a bit too much, it's my first time recording, I was uh, a bit stressed. But if, if you got any question, you can just um, PM me in game, when you be, or on, uh, on YouTube, I will answer to you. Um, uh, my private was off because I didn't want some uh, thing to spawn while I was doing a video, but um, I'm gonna put it on if you wanna talk to me. 
got any questions and uh, I hope I made you discover something or I helped you uh, use SwiftKit and uh, yeah uh, have a good day guys and uh, see you maybe soon for another video